Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're going to be doing just a little bit different kind of story today in that uh, we're, we're going to be doing a story based on instructions that Jesus gave to his disciples uh, to, to go out and, and how they could begin reaching people with the gospel. Actually preparatory, we find, uh, to him going to those places later on himself. But I want to give a little warning before we get into this. Can, can, can you think of the, the way that Jesus taught evangelism? Yeah, it's kind of a trick question because there's not the way. Uh, if you check out the Gospels, he, he shared with different people in different ways at different times. So, and so we're going to be looking at a story today that I, I don't believe is prescriptive. And so uh, join us as we learn here on Memory Monday one of Jesus' ways of preparing people to receive him. Now, the story we're doing today, or that we're beginning to learn today, and, and I just want to encourage, I am just beginning to learn this story, uh, is from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 1 through 12. And it's not so much a story per se as it is uh, Jesus giving some instructions, which means it's going to be just a little bit more difficult to to picture it as a story in my head as I'm learning this story. And so honestly, what we're going to be doing here today is basically a beginning of learning the story. And I'm going to have to review this story myself uh, a little bit more than normal. So here's the story from God's Word. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others, and he sent them ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself was about to go. He told the 72, the harvest is abundant, but the workers are few. Therefore, pray to the Lord of the harvest. Pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. Now go. I'm sending you out like lambs among wolves. Don't carry a money bag, traveling bag, or sandals. Don't greet anyone along the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this household. If a person of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they offer, for the worker is worthy of his wages. Don't move from house to house. When you enter any town and they welcome you, Eat the things they set before you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them the kingdom of God has come near you. When you enter any town and they don't welcome you, go out into the streets and say, we're wiping off even the dust of your town that clings to our feet as a witness against you. Know this for certain, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than it will be for that town. And so uh, I'm not going to go through this story a lot uh, because if you want to learn it, you're going to need to either listen to it or read it for yourself. But I'm going to go through and, and look at the things that I'm going to focus on to kind of break this out as scenes uh, in, in my story. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others. He sent them ahead of him. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to picture him sending them. I'm, I'm going to use that hand motion. And he sent them in pairs to every town where he himself was about to go. And then he told the 72, the harvest is abundant, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. Now go. I'm sending you out. He's giving a picture here like lambs among wolves. So he's, he's kind of warning them there like lambs among wolves. And he's telling them what not to take, a money bag, a traveling bag, or sandals. Uh, so money bag, traveling bag, or sandals. 
and don't greet anyone on the road. And we're going to have to look at that in the story. I don't really understand that. Whatever house you enter, first say, peace be to this household. If a person of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. Not the house, will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the house, eating and drinking what they offer, for the worthy is, the worker is worthy of his, rage, of his wages. Don't move from house to house. When you enter any town, they welcome you. Eat the things that are set before you. Eat, heal, and tell them the, the kingdom of God has come near to you. And then he gives the contrast. When you enter any town, they don't welcome you. Go out into the streets. Man, this is a little confrontational. And say, we're wiping off even the dust of your town that clings to our feet as a witness against you. Know this for certain, the kingdom of God has come near. And then that warning, I tell you the truth, on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. So, uh, you know, as, as I'm looking at this story and, and trying to do my best to picture it as a story, I, I see the Lord, he's, he's first appointing and he's sending them out. Uh, he's explaining why the harvest is plentiful, the workers are few, so pray. Uh, it's, it's interesting, he's saying that to the very ones that he's sending, which is interesting. Then he warns them, I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. And he tells them what not, to, you know, what not to say. And then he tells them what to do. Peace be on this house. If, it, if, if there's a person of peace there, it's going to stay on them, not the house. If not, it's going to come back to you. Uh, and then tells me what to do. Eat, drink. I don't feel guilty about it because I'm worthy of my wages. Don't move from house to house. Uh, if I enter a town and they greet me, uh, eat, heal, and tell. Uh, if I enter a town and they don't greet me, then I go out in the middle of the street and proclaim. Wow, that's a little tough. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm trying to put together the scenes of the story. I would love to hear how you are going about the process of learning this story because, like I said, I, I recognize it's a little different. This story is a little tougher. But I just want to share with you, this has been a story that God has laid on my heart a long time ago. And so I am finally taking him up uh, on this story. And I'm probably going to be doing this story uh, for the first time at an advanced workshop that we'll be doing uh, here in Lexington in, in January. So basically, you guys are going to help me to prepare this story to prepare to present uh, in, in that setting. And so, uh, again, as this new year is starting off, I appreciate a little help here as we're trying to get some more subscribers to our channel. I was just looking down my list, and man, we have done a bunch of stories in the last several months. I, I appreciate your, your help in this and, uh, and your help of, of following along. But if you haven't subscribed, sure would appreciate it. But until the next time, Keep telling those Bible stories.